Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Jenny Lay. I'm a family medicine physician and mom of two. So I've been reminiscing about residency recently. For those of you who are not familiar, residency training starts on July 1st. Every year on July 1st, you have a brand new class of eager residents who just a few weeks before were fourth year medical students, now finally considered doctors. I was terrified. For the first few months were probably the hardest. I remember having so much fear and so much doubt because now I knew that I had the responsibility of taking care of another human life, that my poor decisions could lead to poor patient outcomes. And then these decisions would linger with me long, way long after my shifts were over. They occupied my mind when I was with my loved ones at home, and oftentimes I felt like I was only half present. They drifted into my dreams at night, and I would wake up only a few short hours later to start another 14-hour day at the hospital. People would ask me why residency was hard. Was it because I had small children? I started intern year when Wyatt was six weeks old. And had London my second year in residency. Or was it the long hours? I would answer, it's a combination of things. Residency is hard with or without children. It is hard if you're single or have a partner. It's just hard. I remember having to take care of 23 patients in the hospital all by myself during Christmas. I had been there since 5 a.m. and by 6.30 in the evening, I was just done. I was emotionally and physically exhausted and I cried right there in the hallway while still trying to finish my notes through my tears because I wanted to get home to see my kid open presents. I remember the scared little boy who came into the ED to evaluate a lump on his chest. After IV sticks and labs and ultrasounds and CT scans and specialist consults and hours and hours and hours of waiting in this tiny ED room, I had to go and tell his family that we were concerned about osteosarcoma, cancer of the bone. The worst part of it all was when I asked for feedback from the attending. Her comment to me was, you just have to live with the fact that you'll be part of the worst day of their life. Not constructive at all and added no value to my education besides the fact that it made me feel like crap. I remember working at the start of the pandemic where residents had the most risk of exposure, where there was a shortage of PPE, there was no hazard pay, and where young residents were dying, again, terrified. And yet here I am, sitting in my home with my beautiful family, reminiscing about residency and somewhat missing it. I look at my life as a body of work and realize that my life is a choice. Negativity is a choice. Growth is the consistent choice to do and be better. Yes, residency was hard, but it was also one of the most humbling experiences of my life. It has defined and shaped the person, mom, and physician that I am today. As much 
as there were bad times, I have chosen to remember the far better good times. The time that I delivered my first baby all by myself. So I missed the rest of my clinic patients, but I delivered a baby and look what happened. You guys see that? It's a lot of blood. The time I caught my patient's pulmonary embolism after she had been discharged from the hospital. The numerous procedures and constant learning and just laughter with my friends. Over time, it didn't seem all that bad. Residency never really got easier and the hours never really became shorter. I just became better at medicine. I became more confident and efficient. My knowledge base expanded and I became a better teacher. If I could go back, I would tell my younger self, don't be so scared to make mistakes. This is your time to make mistakes. This is your opportunity to make your mistakes with the safety net of an attending always looking over your every move. Get used to feeling uncomfortable. True strength is from the ability and willingness to be vulnerable. Ask for feedback often, not only from your attending, but also from your med students, from your nurses, support staff, and also your patients. You can learn something from everyone. So I will leave you with my one favorite quote from residency. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Residency is a marathon, not a sprint. I attribute most of my strength and distance to my co-residents and my residency family. If you ever watch this, I miss you and thank you. Good luck, my friends. Excited to see what this future holds for you. Looking forward to being your colleague and learning from you in the future. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week. Peace.